Right now, Friday's Five News with Emma Crosby at seven o'clock. On Five News, death in Dubai, the British holidaymaker who died just days after arriving on holiday. Five News has been told that Lee Brown was handcuffed, stripped and beaten by police before being left to die on his own. Welcome to Five News, I'm Emma Crosby. Five News understands that a British man who died in custody in Dubai was beaten so badly by police there he couldn't stand up. 39-year-old Lee Brown from Essex was arrested on holiday after an alleged argument with staff at his hotel. Now, a woman whose partner is being held in the same police station has told us that he saw the beatings and claims Lee was left to die alone. Jenny Wivel reports. Lee Brown, before he died in a foreign jail. Authorities in Dubai say he choked on his own vomit. Fellow inmates fear police beat him to death. Not wanting to be identified, one woman whose partner was in custody with him spoke to me by telephone. Did he see what happened? My partner and others did actually see what happened. Physically, he couldn't even stand up after the beatings. The inmates have actually seen police officers hitting him with their fists, kicking him down to the ground. One put a foot on his back and others have punched him in the head. They do want to give witness statements, but they're very scared for their own welfare. There are a lot of questions about what happened, but here's what we know. Lee flew to Dubai on a last-minute holiday, checking into one of the world's most luxurious hotels, the Burj Al Arab, on Wednesday the 6th of April. Within hours, there were claims he'd threatened a maid. He was then arrested and taken to the Burr Dubai police station, his sister says she received a phone call on Sunday the 10th of April from a fellow inmate claiming Lee had been beaten. British officials tried to visit him but were turned away. He was never released. And by Tuesday the 12th of April, he was dead. According to local newspaper reports, Dubai police claim Lee had no bruises or marks that would suggest he'd been assaulted. A group campaigning for better human rights in Dubai says it's received a string of complaints about this particular police station. The Dubai police stations are absolutely notorious for violence, whether it's from fellow cellmates or from the police themselves. Even today I've received reports and phone calls as a result of this case from several people who have come forward and said that they're quite at risk. Lee Brown's mother says that after what happened to her son, she feels dead inside. The whole family are now calling on the British government to investigate. Well, let's talk to Jenny. And what's likely to happen now, Jenny? Hello, Emma. Well, the first thing really is to get the full results of the post-mortem examination. So far, we've only just had snippets of information. And secondly, really, an investigation is required. Earlier today, I spoke to officials here at the Foreign Office and they told me that they really are in very close contact with police out in Dubai and they have stressed the importance of an investigation. And now thirdly, perhaps most importantly for Lee Brown's family is something that they will want to get his body back on British soil and also they will actually be responsible for repatriating his body. That's not something the British government routinely does but when it does finally come back here and we're talking several weeks or months then we do expect the coroners here to carry out their own inquest, Emma. Okay, Jenny, thank you.